a new book this week. It's called The Very Quiet Cricket. The author is Eric Carl. He wrote the words. The illustrator is also Eric Carl, which means he drew the pictures. He drew this cricket. We start with the cover. We then look at the spine. At the spine, we can see the author, the illustrator, and the title. And remember, the spine holds all of our pages together, and we can't open the book from the spine. At the back, we always say there's either more artwork or there's a picture. And with this book, we see more artwork. We see two crickets, a moon, some grass, and a night sky that Eric Carl drew. Before we start this book, let's make some predictions. What do you think a book called The Very Quiet Cricket is called? Turn to your parent and share. Let's go over our vocabulary words that we're going to be hearing in this book. Remember, vocabulary words are words that are in the book. Locust. An insect that looks like a grasshopper and eats plants. Locus. Cricket. An insect with long antennas and strong back legs for jumping. Cricket. Chirp. To make a short sound with a high pitch. We hear birds chirp. But there's other animals. The very quiet cricket. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Here's his egg. Here he is. Welcome, chirped a big cricket. Rubbing his wings together, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so it rubbed its wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm. Munching its way out of an apple, the little cricket wanted to answer, so it rubbed its wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in the sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. He's trying to talk, but it's not making noise. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening! Word a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. 
Good night, buzz the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. Here are our mosquitoes. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. So we have our cricket and a girl cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that he had ever heard. vocabulary words. We have cricket, an insect with long antennas and strong legs for jumping. Cricket. Locust, an insect that looks like a grasshopper and eats plants. Locust. Chirp, uh, to make a short sound with a high we hear the cricket at the very end make a chirp sound. That is how he talks. In our book, the grasshopper could not talk for most of the book, not until the very end. I want to know, how would you feel if you couldn't talk? Please share with a parent. Thank you for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.